Good morning. Happy, what's today? Tuesday. I'm all discombobulated. You like that word? Discombobulated. Because um, it's Tuesday and I'm at home. And for some reason, last night, I was like, oh, it's Friday. What? <laughs> it's Monday. I was, I've never been more disappointed. I was like, wait a minute, why am I thinking it's Friday? I think because I was getting to sleep in today. I don't know. Because I get to sleep in some when I'm working from home. It's just a weird week. Because then I'm going to the office tomorrow for a luncheon. And then I'm going to the office Thursday. And then I'm off Friday again. Because, to, you know, because I'm working tomorrow. Because we're having a birthday luncheon. Look at that. If I could describe the most perfect fall day it would be today today if every day could be like today today would be the best day of all the todays what <laughs> it's 59 degrees the it's a little chilly but nice like you don't need a coat but there's a chill in the air. The sun is shining. The leaves are blowing. It's a perfect day. <laughs> it's the most perfect date. What's the most perfect date? April 15th. Or whatever the movie says. April 20-somethings. Um, what was the name of that movie? I always forget the name of the movie. Miss Congeniality. When they asked her what the perfect date was, you know, they meant date like where would you go on your date and she said april something because it's not too hot not too cold you can wear a light jacket that's today it's october 29th today is the perfect date yeah miss congeniality take that <sighs> thank you dear lord for such a glorious day and such beautiful colors i love it meanwhile my hydrangeas are confused and they're blooming. And it's so funny to see such vibrant purple flowers mixed in with fall colors. I saw an azalea blooming yesterday. Bright pink blooms all over this bush that was right in front of a tree that was orange. It's like that doesn't go together. That doesn't work in my mind. <laughs> Come on, baby. She's happy. If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. I used to sing that to Charlie all the time. If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. Anyway, um, I have to do the most fun thing ever this afternoon, and that is have an MRI. My boss asked me yesterday, she was like, how did you do it? I said, well, um, you go in and you take all your clothes off and you put on this piece of cotton, basically, that has a string and, you know, around your neck. And then you lay down on this table and they push you inside. She was like, that, that's not what I'm talking about. And I was like, oh, well, you see, I keep my eyes closed because if I ever open my eyes, I will lose my mind. So I keep my eyes closed real tight and I pray and they let me listen to music. So I always ask for like our Christian radio station around here, 104.7 The Fish. And uh, yeah, I try not to think about where I am and what I'm doing. And I also tell myself if I start to panic, you can get out of here. And she said, how can you get out of there? I said, do the boot scootin' boogie. You just start sliding your butt. You just butt scoot. I mean, I, I could do it if I had to. Trust me. If I had to get out of that tube, I could get out of that tube. Yeah. So that's going to be a lot of fun uh, going for an MRI. Yes. I haven't had one in three years. So he's wanting to make sure there's no change or any change or what the change is, you know, in my back. So. Anyway, I'm going back to work, so I'll check back in with y'all later. Okay, so 
I bought a vibration plate is what it's called. And it's supposed to help you with all kinds of things. And all you do is stand on it and it just makes you wiggle to and fro. And it's awesome. I just got it yesterday, so I don't know. I just stand here and let it do its thing. It's supposed to help with lymphatic drainage and um, it's supposed to help with your muscles and you can kind of squat on it if you're able to squat. And it comes with resistance bands so you can do this. I'm not coordinated enough to try that yet. Um, but if you straighten your legs up, then it really gets your booty to shaking. And if you relax your legs, it gets the front of your legs to shaking. It's supposed to help you lose weight. It's supposed to help with all kinds of things. Now it does have warnings about if you've got heart issues and this and that, that you should contact your doctor before you try it. But I ordered it on Amazon and it was $73. And it said you could, it said you could feel um, maybe dizzy the first time or two that you use it. And I do have issues with dizziness quite frequently and it did not make me feel dizzy. Though I did put it over here by the wall so that I could reach out and touch it if I did feel dizzy. Actually, yesterday I was closer to the wall because I did, was, uh, yeah so I could have something to hang on to. But I quite like it, okay? It feels really good. I don't know why it feels good. I don't know why I feel good after I do it. But, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, boys to the <laughs> Anyway, this is all I do, I stand here and I just let it shake me. Shake me body. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake your booty, shake your booty. Like, you don't even have to try for it to shake your booty. It just shakes your booty. You can um, do a plank with your toes on the floor and your hands on the board, or you can do um, where you sit on it. It's actually about, I don't know, this wide, I'd say. So you can sit on it. There is a weight limit. You'd have to look that up on each particular one might have a different weight limit. I can't remember what it is on this. I think it was 300 pounds, but they do have some that go up to, I think 400 pounds. And yeah, you can set it and it says do it for 10 minutes a day. Um, it says if you have your feet closer together like this, then it's more like walking on your body. And then if you put them where the feet are, it's got little silver places for your feet, that this is more like jogging. And if you separate your feet to the edges, it's more like running. <laughs> I kind of like it more in the jogging position. I feel like I'm getting more of a workout in the jogging position. But yeah, you just stand here and let it do its thing. And, um, uh, by the way, someone asked me about the Bacopa. I actually had to come off of the Bacopa. I feel like I've got some Catherine Hepburn going on with my voice here. I have three more minutes to go, and I've been running back and forth trying to get that in the right place, which hopefully it is in the right place so you can actually see the top of my head. But, yeah, it's great fun. I do, I do really like it. And like I said, you can kind of start to do a squat and it really works out different parts of your body. I'm afraid to go down too far because I'm afraid I'll fall. I mean, I feel that all the way up in my shoulders, but the main thing is it's supposed to help with lower back pain, which is my main thing for taking it um, and drainage of the lymphatic system because that's your, your lymph nodes. Um, it's good to vibrate them to cause them to drain because you don't want a blocked lymph node. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Ooh. I like it. I don't know.
know why I like it, but I like it. I only have a minute left. I don't know, it feels like it's doing something. People on the internet, on Amazon, that I was reading the different re reviews, said that it did help them in multiple areas, like weight loss and pain and stuff like that. So it's just kind of more of a, I think a low impact, but there again, check with your doctor before you start anything new because it might not be good for you. What's good for one is not always good for someone else. You know what I'm saying? Katherine Hepburn here is about to uh, sign out. Oh, I got nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, so it's L N intelligent, like intelligent, but instead of an I, it's an L. L intelligent fitness vibrator. The recommended time is 10 to 20 minutes. If you suffer from joint problems, hypertension, bronchitis, heart disease, skin disease, diabetes, obesity, middle ear, bone weaknesses, osteoporosis, use a pacemaker. It is recommended to seek medical advice before using the vibration trainer. Um, keep children away. I hope to. It is normal that someone may feel dizzy while using it the first time due to the vibration oscillation of the machine. Mm. It will not happen again after the after using it for a few times. Don't stamp. It says stamping on it is forbidden. Not stomping. It says stamping. Mm -hmm. Do not put your knees on the pad to prevent injury and impairment. Do not put all your weight on one side. Do not touch the device with wet hands. Here's what I thought funny. Only one person at a time may use the device. This product is for exercise only. Other uses are prohibited. And then the next line says, this product is for exercise only. Other uses are prohibited. They repeated that. And then it just goes into explaining what everything is. But I really like it. It comes with a remote control. It comes with the resistant bands. And of course, the plug-in and the user manual. So, that's that. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different, but I wanted to show y'all my new toy. <laughs> Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. Hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries. Toodles, my noodles. Stay silly, my friends, and smile. Piss people off, make people happy, or just make them wonder what you've been up to. Okay, bye.